Just a second. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. That was weird. Let me go and get back to. Yeah, I got to share everything. I know. I know. Can you hear me now? Sorry about that. I it, that was odd. The, the whole room here that I'm sitting in, the lights went blip, and the screen behind me went blip, and now I'm back. That was very strange. Okay, sorry about that. Let us go, and as I said to you yesterday, let's make sure we're clear about what we can do in live text. Because I want this to be as simple as possible for you. So I'm going to go to live text. You know, they're still, they're still building down here. And I would imagine somebody drove over another line. Now, as we've had this discussion before, I can't show you live text. And I don't have anybody here in the room with me uh, that I could drag up here and put on to the uh, computer to show you what it looks like on your side of the world. Jessica's not here with me today. But the, the hallmark is very straightforward. Basically, you're going to come in. You're going to find you're using the template that I have created. And all you have to do is you can do it one of two ways, depending upon your comfort level. So if I go back into, let me go back into PVWorks. I can either highlight the URL at the top of the page, in other words, where it lives, and I can put that into all four of these. Okay, so click, put it here, or if you want to show off. I could go to each page, highlight, copy, and put that in the appropriate space. I don't mind either way because once I see it, I'll dive into it and, you know, I'll just look for your pages and I'll go look at the, uh, since there's only what? There's only one, two, three four pages that I have to look at. So I don't have to do a lot of deep diving around inside your wikis. But don't forget the PLN reflection down here, number five. Again, don't need the great American novel here. Straightforward, simple paragraph works just fine. We're asking that you describe the process and the development of your PLN. What does he mean by that? Well, if you remember the PowerPoint, the one and only PowerPoint I showed you, I had that one slide at the end that was about process. And if you want, I'll put that back up so you can see it. And that process was you become a skimmer, you become a lurker, you kind of look around, you kind of see how things are going. You try things out, they become important to you, so on. Right now, I pretty much everybody is at the stage of being a skimmer or a lurker. Um, what you're going to do is next question how will you implement your pln so it becomes a habit of learning and exploring 
the power of what you've created is as you add pins to your board, they're going to show up in your work in your wiki. As you add new um, links in your Twitter account, it's going to show up in your wiki. Now the RSS, the way it works is those things that you have elected to put into your RSS, when they get a new episode, it will upload it into your feed that you've put in your wiki. But since you identify that you only need 10 or 5 or 50, well, however many you've said, as a new one comes in, if you only have five links in there, it's going to kick out the top one, the oldest one. So that's the RSS is different than the others. The others will just keep adding and adding and adding and adding. So you have to decide how you're going to implement this thing. Are you going to go back to school and share it with your folks in your grade group? Uh, Paige, I realize you don't have a classroom yet. So you kind of need to think about how you might want to incorporate this into a classroom. And so what new questions and inquiries have, uh, have you gotten because of this PLN? Now, you've only had it for, you know, a day, really, for each one of the sections that's in here. But think about how you could use this thing to find out more things about what you want to use. I cannot stress, I cannot stress how I find my Pinterest to be a lifesaver. Um, I can go into Pinterest and I can drop in and I can do a search for worksheets and I get all kinds of cool stuff. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Paige. I knew you taught at Fairdale. Yes, I was confusing you with another teacher. I apologize. Okay. Um, that's what I've got, guys, for today. Except I have to go back in to go animate and clean out the banner and figure out. Well, I know how the kid is getting in. I, I saw it. He's coming in through the back door. <laughs> I told you all at the very beginning, Kim, that this was going to be the easiest class you have ever taken. And uh, what else can I say? Uh, it is design. It was designed. It was designed from the get-go, and it was really interesting when I first put the idea of this class out there. Uh, my colleagues dismissed it as a, they said, well, all you're doing is running a PD over the week. And I said, yeah, that's right. That is exactly what I'm doing. But if you just do a quick Google search on professional learning networks, oh my God, they're everywhere. I mean, the information about it is everywhere. All I tried to do was to sit down and say, how could I centralize the professional learning network so that I had this one place that I could dive into that would represent my connections to all the other stuff. And then when you look at Twitter, because Twitter has become such a vast wasteland, kind of like Facebook, actually. And that's the reason why I don't put Facebook in here, because of all the problems it's having. But when you look at Twitter, because you can go in there and do that Twitter widget by finding the likes, in other words, you can go back through there and go, okay, I've got this guy that's in here that I really should quit following. Um, but then when you go through and you find the people who really do make a difference, who really do have stuff in there that you like, that's the only thing that shows up in your wiki. So it's clean. Um, and then the Pinterest, Lord, I, you know, you've already seen Steve go nuts inside the Pinterest. I don't need to keep emphasizing that fact. I love, I love, I love my Pinterest. Okay. Uh, I have nothing else. Don't worry about it, Paige. Um, the 585 is, is very much up to speed. 
very much has the um, videos in it. Last night we talked about uh, TPAC and SAMR, uh, two uh, frameworks for technology integration. Um, I think I talked for maybe an hour on it because it's kind of a heavy lift. It's kind of a heavy lift. Next week, we'll do Universal Design for Learning, which is um, actually a curricular framework. Uh, I'm a big believer in Universal Design for Learning. It pulls in a lot of the disparate pieces that you have heard in any of your classes of differentiated learning, all that kind of stuff. Deep inquiry, deep learning, all the stuff that's, that's out there right now. Universal Design for Learning talks about that and, you know, uh, is it is it valid? Yes, I think it's very valid. 585 will be creating dun, 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 a wiki. Use your PBWorks uh, login. You'll create a new wiki for it. Uh, it is busier than this class, but it's still based upon the same ideas. Creating projects, building things that you then can incorporate into a central location, the PBWorks. Um, and we do Cross the board stuff in 585. There'll come a time in 585, I think it's module seven, where we do coding. Uh, we do coding with a uh, code car, and then we do coding with Scratch. So it's, it's quite the um, gambit of technology use in a classroom. I like 585 a lot. I like teaching it a lot. I like teaching this class because it's easy and it's fun. All right, I'm done. I've got to go fix all the GoAnimate stuff. If you have any last questions for me before I click it, click out here. We had the one last thought. Uh, last thought is this. When is all this due, Steve? You know what? Let me go look at that real fast. Hang on. Don't, don't leave me just yet. Let's go look at that real fast. We can look at uh, what the registrar is doing. This is how I see the world inside the U-Link, by the way, if you've ever wondered. So let's go to class rosters. Let's look for the summer. And as you can see, there is no grade report that has been posted yet. Look over here where it says grade roster. So let's go down and find our class. So it has it in here from June 4th to June 8th. Now here's what I think is going on. What they're doing is, is they're essentially saying they haven't turned on the need for me to put in a grade yet because they don't understand a June 4th to June the 8th. So they're actually operating under the second session, the summer session. Remember there are three. Uh, and the one for this one class, uh, this gentleman took it in the May session, and so it's popped up. So because it hasn't recognized the fact that we are actually done, it hasn't put a grade roster up yet. What does that mean for you? <clears throat> that means for you, you've got plenty of time. Uh, now, don't get lazy. I'd go ahead and try to get it done, you know, today, <laughs> if you could, uh, just so you can mark that one off your list of things to do. All right, now I really am done unless you've got a question for me. All righty, I'm going to close down the recording and I'm leaving the room. Steve, it